Hello everyone, welcome to iOS Pro Hacker. So if you forgot your iPhone passcode and you're seeing iPhone unavailable, security lockout or iPhone is disabled on the screen, then please listen carefully because in this video, I will explain the complete truth. What is possible, what is not possible and why most YouTube videos are misleading you. This is a 100% educational, honest and universal guide to unlock your iPhone if it get locked. So. It is compatible with all iPhones from iPhone 6 to the latest iPhone 17. So do not skip this video because by the end, you will understand exactly how iPhone security works and how to get your old data back to your mobile phone, to your iPhone. Yes, guys, I will also teach you how you can get the data. So we have several methods to restore our data. So this is the no data loss tutorial, but definitely there are some limitations. There are some restrictions. So let's get started. And I want to be very clear with you from the beginning. Apple does not allow passcode removal without resetting the device. There is no magic trick that can bypass this. So why iPhone get disabled, unavailable? So let's first understand what actually happens when you enter the wrong passcodes. If you enter the wrong passcodes multiple times, first the iPhone locks you for one minute, then five minutes, then 15 minutes, and then one hour. And if you keep entering the wrong passcodes again and again, eventually the iPhone shows iPhone unavailable or security lockout permanently. Yeah, sometimes on older iPhones, you see iPhone is disabled screen. So at this stage, the iPhone will not allow any more passcode attempts. And if you forgot the passcode, waiting will not help. Now, listen very carefully. This is the most important part of the video. You cannot remove an iPhone passcode without erasing the device. This is not my opinion. This is Apple's security design. Why? Because your passcode is cryptographically linked to your data. Apple itself cannot unlock your iPhone. And that's why even law enforcement agencies struggle with locked iPhones. So what happens to your data? So yes, resetting the iPhone will erase all the data on the device. But, and this is very important, your data is not lost forever if you have a backup. That's the most important. After unlocking, you can restore your data from iCloud backup, iTunes backup or Finder backup. So there are so many uh, other tools also that help you recover it. So I will let you know in this video. Later in this video, I will explain exactly how to restore your data step by step. So now computer is required to unlock the iPhone. So let's get started. <laughs> Connect your iPhone to the data cable. So make sure you see the charging icon on the iPhone. Make sure the iPhone is charging. So it shows that your iPhone is connected successfully with the computer. The next thing you wanna do, you need to put your iPhone into the recovery mode. Now, this step is extremely important. You must put your iPhone into the recovery mode. So here's how you can do it. Connect the phone to the computer. So to put your iPhone into the recovery mode, so you have to follow this method on the screen. Every iPhone model has a different method to put your iPhone into the recovery mode. So you can follow the instructions on the screen or you can also ask chat GPT that how to put iPhone 10, 17, 16, 15 into the recovery mode. Now we need to put it into the recovery mode. So it's very really easy. So this is the iPhone 17, right? First of all, you need to do, you need to tap on the volume up button, then volume down button. Now hold down the power button. Now you need to hold it down until you see the black screen. And you don't, do not release the button until you see the iTunes screen on the iPhone, on the computer screen. You, you will see the computer screen on the iPhone. Just wait. Yeah, you see, you see this? So you have put now successfully your iPhone into the recovery mode if you follow this method. So this is pretty much very easy, right? It's very easy. Your computer will detect it. Now we can put the iPhone here on the table. So if you're using computer, so make sure to connect it on the back side of your computer. Do not connect on the front side because um, this is the more stronger connection if you connect it to the back side. So on the laptop, we have several ports. You can connect on any of the port. 
So this is our computer. The iPhone is already connected to the recovery mode. And now simply go to the browser and you know, you visit the address itunes.com. And after that, you just simply see the download button. You know, you see this, get it from Microsoft. So if you're using uh, Apple Mac, so you will see a different button here, but definitely you need to download and install it because I have already installed it. So let me show you, I search here iTunes, you see here it comes up. So let it do not do anything, right? Now, here you see there is a problem with iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored. So it's really simple now, you just tap on the cancel button and you see here two options, update or restore. So if you update, so uh, if you tap on the update button, so it will just update your iPhone. It will not remove your passcode. It will just update your iPhone to the latest iOS version. So what we're going to do, we're going to tap on the restore button, just like that. So it will now download the firmware file online. So make sure you have a good internet connection. Tap on the restore and update button. Okay, now you need to tap on the next button right here. And again, tap on the agree button. So now you see here the download icons appear. You see here the downloading is started. So it's a huge 10.14 GB file. You see, so it will take time. Like uh, it's saying five minutes, but maybe uh, it depends on the internet connection because I have very fast internet connection. So it's showing five minutes. Maybe on your internet, it will show 50 minutes. So I also have a very good way to speed up this download and download the firmware file manually. You just open the browser and tap here uh, the new address. So type here like ipsw.ma ipsw.me so from here you can select your iphone uh, so if you want to download the iphone if you have iphone or ipad so uh, because this method also works on ipad so go to the iphone uh, so select your iphone what which iphone you have uh, for example select the iphone 17 and you see here the green ios version so do not download this red ones because it will not gonna work so tap on this button okay now here you see scroll down and you will see this download icon you just tap the download button and the downloading will start automatically you see this so actually this is a uh, faster than itunes you, if you download the firmware file manually um, so um, this way you can download the firmware file manually but but you see it's already itunes is also downloading the file so let's wait until the download is completed so as you can see now, the download is nearly completed, almost completed. You see, once the download complete, uh, it will going to process the file, extract the file, and after that, your iPhone will start, um, you know, restoring. Yeah, you see, it's done. Now you see here, extracting the software. So once the extracting will going to complete, your iPhone will restart, you see? You see here, the iPhone is now restarted. And the Apple logo will show up here and the loading bar will show up here and it will take like five minutes to 10 minutes to complete the restore process, it's fast. Yeah, if you use the fast data cable, then it, 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 it will be, you know, very fast, just like that. You put your iPhone here. Okay, here you see Apple loading bar appears with the Apple logo on the screen. So on the computer screen, you see also the loading bar. You see it's very, very fast. Okay, sometimes you might show this error. So make sure you have, uh, uh, you know, connection of your data cable. So um, if you are using uh, not good quality data cable, so you will see these kind of errors. So do not worry about it. So let me tell you the solution. You just need to change your USB port or USB cable. Uh, change the USB port from the computer 
uh, change to any other port and also change the USB cable if it's still not working. So if this happens with you, so your iPhone will stuck on this recovery mode screen. So do not worry about it, you just connect your iPhone again. Right? Just like that. And the iTunes will again detect your iPhone. And tap again on the OK button. So the iTunes will again detect your iPhone. So if it doesn't, so restart your iTunes. So now tap on the um, restore button again because we already have the uh, you know uh, the firmware file downloaded so it will not again download the firmware file it will just simply start the restoration process so friends uh, you see uh, the iphone is restored now it's just getting restarted now you see on the itunes also because we have not just disconnected the phone it is still connected so you see on the itunes it's showing up welcome to your new iphone so if you tap on the continue button here so it will going to set up your iphone from here so right now you see here we got the iphone so we just need to now um set up the iphone select the language uh, whatever country you have selected So, alright my friends, now we are on one of the most confusing screens during iPhone setup. After restoring or resetting your iPhone, Apple shows this page called Transfer Your Apps and Data. And many people get scared here because they don't understand what option to choose. So, in this part of the video, I will explain each option one by one. It is very simple. Um, so, Apple gives you this screen because once your iPhone is unlocked and reset, you have two choices. Set it up like a brand new iPhone by tapping on this don't transfer anything or bring back your old apps and data. This screen does not unlock your iPhone. Unlocking already happened during the restore. This screen is only about bringing your data back. So option one we have restore from iCloud backup. So if you select this, so you should choose this option if you had iCloud backup enabled before. So when you select this, you sign in with your Apple ID, choose a backup date and Apple downloads your data from the iCloud. So this includes your photos, apps, notes, messages, contacts, reminders, app data. So important thing to understand, data comes back gradually. Apps will download in the background and iPhone remains usable while you restore your iPhone with the iCloud backup. So option two we have is transfer directly from another iPhone. So this is also called quick start. Choose this option if you still have your old iPhone, it is working and you know it's passcode. So both iPhones must be near each other, have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. This method, transfer apps, photos, settings, most of the data directly phone to phone. This is one of the fastest and cleanest methods if your old iPhone is accessible. So the option three we have, restore from Mac or PC. So. Choose this option if you used iTunes or Finder before to make the backup and you manually backed up your iPhone to a computer. Here's how it works. Connect your iPhone to the same computer, open iTunes and select restore backup on the iTunes. So the option four we have transfer from Android. Now this option confuses many people from Android. So this is only for the people who are switching from Android to iPhone and still have access to their Android phone. So Apple uses an app called Move to iOS to transfer contacts, messages, photos, videos, and some application data. So this is uh, pretty much it. Now, if you do not have any of these options, you do not have the iCloud backup, you do not have any other phone you want to copy the data from, you do not have the backup in your Mac or PC, so I have alternate method for you. So now tap here, don't transfer anything. Now tap it. other assigning options. Um, I just forget. Okay, set up later in settings, don't use. So let's set up our iPhone very quickly to move our next option to restore the data. 
now uh, okay on the download automatically not now set up later okay i'm just setting our iphone quickly set up later in settings don't share continue continue not now not now okay what is this camera control okay continue continue not now set up later continue okay so welcome get started now the iphone is unlocked but definitely there is no data right all right my friend now we are at the very last option i want to be extremely honest with you in this part because i don't want to sell you false hop so if your iphone was reset you forget the passcode and you do not have an icloud or itunes backup then this option is the only remaining possibility to try data recovery why this is the last option let me say this clearly first. No third-party tool can break Apple's encryption. No tool can magically recover 100% data after a reset. But some tools can recover partial data in very specific situations. So one of the most reliable tools in this category is Tenorshare Alt Data for iOS. So what is Tenorshare? So Tenorshare Alt Data for iOS is a data recovery software designed to recover certain types of lost data from iPhones. So what data can it recover? Depends on your situation. Alt data may help recover photos, videos, contacts, messages, WhatsApp data, notes, call history, Safari history, app attachments. So recovery success depends on whether data was overwritten, whether the iPhone was heavily used after deletion, whether backups existed. So there are three recovery modes. So it's very important. Recover directly from iPhone. So if your iPhone is still accessible or partial accessible, so alt data can scan the device and try to recover deleted but not overwritten data. So this works best when data was deleted accidentally, iPhone was not reset multiple times. So the second option we have, recover from iCloud backup. Even if Apple doesn't show the backup during the setup, alt data can. So you simply log into your iCloud using the alt data, uh, download backups, selectively recover specific data types. This is useful if you don't want to restore the entire backup. You only want photos or messages or any other thing. So you can choose between them. So the third option we have, recover from iTunes backup. So if you backed up your iPhone to a computer in the past, Alt data can scan the backup without erasing your current iPhone and extract specific data. So very important honest disclaimers, I want to be very transparent with you. This software does not guarantee full recovery. It does not recover data after full secure override. So results vary from person to person. So this alt data is available on Mac or Windows. You just simply need to connect your iPhone, choose recovery mode, scan the data, preview recoverable items and recover selected files. So that's pretty much it. So uh, you will find all the links in the description of this video for the tutorial of the Tenorshare alt data and also the link to download and install it. So if this video helped you understand the real truth, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for real honest tech education and comment below if you want a separate detailed video on data recovery. Thank you for watching, stay safe, stay informed and I'll see you in the next video.